Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and today I'm going to be creating a cute, quick and easy Valentine's Day card using some of the goodies from the latest Cat Scrappiness release. Make sure to stick around and see what I'm going to create and find out how you can be entered to win a $25 gift card to the store. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Earlier today, all of the new products from Cat Scrappiness went live in their online store. Now to see what all of the new goodies are, make sure to visit their YouTube channel which is linked in the description box and there are videos introducing each of the new products. There are lots of new fun Valentine themed products as well as tons of new embellishments. One of which I'll be using today which is the XOXO Sprinkles and it's got some hearts with love on it, some red hearts, some pink X's and O's, and just some different colored sprinkles. In front of me are the main products from the release that I'll be using. If I do add anything else later on, I will be sure to let you know. Over here on the left is the new Stitched Hearts Cover Plate Die, and it cuts out a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece with some stitching on the edge and then stitched hearts. We have some quokkas for Valentine's Day. There's a stamp set with fun sentiments and you can get the coordinating dies. For my sentiment, I won't be using one from the stamp set. I'm gonna use the new Sending You Love Sentiment with Shadow die. And then in addition to the XOXO sprinkles, I'm gonna be using some of the Ice Ice Baby enamel dots. I just love that these are completely see-through and I think they're going to add a super fun touch to the card. Once I get started with the process, I will tell you about the Instagram hop where you can be entered to win a $25 gift certificate. But for now, let's get crafty! The first thing I did for today's card was cut a scrap of Strathmore Bristol Smooth with the Stitched Hearts cover plate. I love the details on this, but I want to help them stand out just a little bit. So I brought in a pink and red ink pad, and I'm going to be ink blending in the background. Not only will this add a little color to it, but it's going to help those hearts stand out. As you see here, when I'm going in with the pink ink, the hearts are already popping more. What I tried to do was do three different areas with each color, and then I brought back in that pink blending brush and tried to blend everything out, make it look more smooth, and make it fill more of that background area. Once that was all ready to go, I brought in my Misty and my Versafine Onyx Black, and I'm going to stamp the quokka that has the little heart envelope and the bow. I thought that might be a fun detail to add. Now because this paper, which I'm again using Strathmore Bristol Smooth, has a little texture to it and these are new stamps, I did ink each of these up and stamp it twice. Once I had a nice crisp image, I took these off screen with the coordinating dies and cut them out. I got out a red and pink zig marker. I'm going to add just a little bit of color to the image, kind of like spotlight or selective coloring. I will be coloring the heart and the bow with red and the cheeks a light pink. My coloring process is pretty simple. I just lay down some color where I want the darkest part of that to be and then blend it out with the colorless blender pen. I am going to go ahead and show you the entire coloring process, but while I do that, I wanted to stop by and tell you about the Instagram hop that we have going on over on Instagram to celebrate this new release. In the description box below is a link to the Cat Scrappiness Instagram account. You'll want to click on that, 
look for the January hop icon, and then all of the instructions on how to play along will be in the description of that photo. Basically, you'll hop along to all of the stops, leaving each design team member a heart on their photo, and then go back to that cat scrappiness post, make sure you're following them, and leave the comment as outlined in the instructions. One lucky hopper will win a $25 gift certificate to their online store. Along the way, I know that you're going to find new creators who you love. Make sure to go ahead and follow them as well. While it's not required for the hop, it is definitely appreciated by each of us. Also at the bottom of my description box is a direct link to my Instagram account. For my sentiment, I will be cutting the words, sending my love from a scrap of white and red cardstock, and then the outline I will cut from a scrap of vellum. To go with kind of my selective coloring in that pink and red tones of my card, I cut out sending my in the white cardstock and love from the red cardstock. Now I'm just going to add some art glitter glue to the back of my die cut words and place those onto the vellum shadow. Once all three of the words were on the vellum shadow, I set this underneath a stamp block and let it dry for about five minutes. At this point, all of my pieces were ready so I could start assembling my card. The stitched piece got adhered flat to the front of a top fold card base and it does cover the entire base and then I added glue once again to my sentiment trying to focus it or keep it behind where the die cut words were so it would be not visible from the front of the vellum. This got placed toward the bottom center of my card. I did make sure that some of the ink blending came out from the bottom of it. And then to get my image on there, I added some foam dots to the back and I popped this up toward the top left of the sentiment. I thought that envelope fit really well between the S and the D in sending. Now all my card needed was a little bit of bling. So I brought back in the Ice Ice Baby clear embellishments and from the XOXO sprinkles, I chose two of the red hearts to add to the card. I let this dry for about five minutes. Once that was done, I did add a little decoration to the inside, and here is a look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing today's process. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to go join in on that Instagram hop and get entered to win. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.